The learning objective for TR-31 is be able to solve SSA triangles. Solve this triangle. I'll step through the problem solving. If you want to test yourself, pause now. This is an SSA triangle, so it might have zero, one, or two solutions. As with all SSA triangles, we have a side angle opposite pair. So we're going to use the law of sines to find this angle, I'll call theta sub 1, because there's another angle up here to find, which I'll call theta sub 2. The missing side, we'll call x. So we have sine theta sub 1 over 6.12. By the way, like I keep saying, when we use the law of sines, it's a good practice to put the unknown variable in the numerator of its fraction. So with your calculator, you can solve for the variable in one step. Here's what I mean. Sine theta 1 over 6.12 meters equals sine 28.1 degrees over 5.22 meters. So in one calculator step, sine theta 1 equals sine 28.1 degrees times 6.12 meters divided by 5.22 meters. So sine theta 1 equals 0 0.55222. Easy. Now we know the sine of theta 1 so we use arc sine to find theta 1. We'll mark this value for sine theta 1 because we'll come back to it later when we check for a second solution. We know the sine of theta sub 1, so to find theta sub 1, we use the arc sine function and get 33.5 degrees. Now that we know two angles, we can find the third by subtracting from 180 degrees. Theta 2 equals 180 degrees, minus 33.5 degrees, minus 28.1 degrees, so 118.4 degrees. Now we just need to find x using the law of sines. We get 9.75 meters, and without much effort, we found the first solution. We used the law of sines, subtracted two angles from 180 degrees, and then used the law of sines again. Here's approximately what our triangle looks like, not the perfect scale. Since we've been given an SSA configuration, it's possible there's a second solution. Let's go back to theta sub 1, which we found as the arc sine of 0 0.55222. The arc sine function returns acute angles, but it's possible theta sub 1 could be obtuse, and our triangle would look something like this. The arc sine function gave us the acute angle whose sine is 0 0.55222 here. But there's an obtuse angle over here whose sine is also 0.55222. We can find it using symmetry across the y-axis. The acute angle is 33.5 degrees positive from 0 degrees. So the obtuse angle is 33.5 degrees back from 180 degrees. So 146.5 degrees. Now we have two angles, so we subtract them from 180 degrees to find the third. It's 5.4 degrees. Now we use the law of sines to find x again, 1.04 meters, and we found the second solution to this SSA triangle. Let's try another. Here we're given a side-side angle. We need to find two angles and a side. We have an angle-side opposite pair, so we'll use the law of sines to find angle alpha. We write the first fraction to include alpha in its numerator so we can solve for sine alpha easily on a calculator. We get sine alpha equals 1.08. That should ring alarm bells because arc sine 1.08 is undefined. There's no angle whose sine is 1.08. Sine is always between negative one and one. So rather than just leave our instructor with this undefined result, let's state explicitly that the triangle has no solutions. Here's another. We're given side-side angle. We need to find two angles and a side. You might notice that our given angle, 122.6 degrees, is obtuse. Since a triangle can have at most one obtuse angle, we aren't going to find a second solution to this triangle with an obtuse version of angle beta. But let's proceed with our problem-solving strategy and see what happens if we don't notice. As always with SSA triangles, we have an angle side opposite pair, so we start with the law of sines to find beta. Arc sine gives us the acute angle 39.8 degrees, 
Subtracting our two known angles from 180 degrees tells us angle gamma is 17.6 degrees. Using the law of sines one more time to find S gives us 63.7. The problem statement doesn't give us the units of measure, so please add a label of some sort like units to let your instructor know that you know the number represents a length. Now let's see what happens when we try to find a second solution, which would involve an obtuse angle for beta. We know this won't work, so let's see what breaks so we'll recognize it when we see it again. The sine of beta is 0 0.641, and the acute angle with this sign is 39.8 degrees. The obtuse version will be over in quadrant 2, 180 degrees minus 39.8 degrees, which is 140.2 degrees. Now we find angle gamma by subtracting our two known angles from 180 degrees. 180 minus 122.6 degrees minus 140.2 degrees equals negative 82.8 degrees. Calculating a negative angle means you're going down a path with no solution. So we can stop here because there's no second solution.